Hi, I'm So Kong. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clone Mac OS X OS X 10.11 EL Captain uh, from one Mac to another in target mode. Uh, what you need is actually the FireEye 800 uh, cable that you can pick up from the store. And so we're going to clone to two Mac iMacs here. So I'm gonna name like uh, the one that has Mac OS X, OS X actually the source, and the one that we're gonna clone to is Target. So I'm gonna plug to FireWire 800 to both uh, ends on the Target and on the source. And so this is the ta the source one end that we plug to. Okay, and then we're gonna plug another end to the Target here. Okay. So we have the target and the source plug-in and then we're going to power on the source computer make sure the target's not on yet so we power on make sure it's power on and then after that at the target computer okay we, at the target computer we're going to press tilt on the power and press and hold don't let go yet press and hold the t key press and hold the t key while put power on the computer until you see the target mode side here Okay, and then you let go of the uh, the T key. So to get it, to see it uh, clearly and zoom up a little bit, and you see the target mode is on. So now we go back to the source computer. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, when we turn on, we don't see the disk on the target computer when we plug in. The reason because by default it's in. So what you need is actually uh, let's see. Oh, not that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click on the, the finder here. Okay, I'm gonna turn on to make sure it shows up. We click on finder here, and click on preferences. Okay, and once you click on it and you check the external here, external disk, so now it shows up. Okay, and then we're gonna exit out. So click on the exit out. So next thing we're gonna do, we are going to prepare the disk here. So we're gonna we're gonna partition it. So uh, click click on go utility. Okay, click on it. And we're gonna double click on this utility here. Okay, double click on it. So I'm gonna open it. The yellow captain. It looks a little bit different from the previous version. You can see here this is the, this is the firewire. It shows that the firewire firewire uh, hard drive here. So what, we, so what I'm going to do, we're going to erase the disk as part of the preparation. Okay. Once you click on it, and uh, format is actually by default, that's what we want anyway, always act extended. Okay. So I'm going to click on here to see what's in there. So if all everything else is not what we want, we want just always act, always act extended. Okay. Journal. So on the ski, Click on that again. And click on drop down. Master boot record is actually for Windows. That's not what we want. So Apple partition, uh, Apple partition map. That's for the older version, like Power Mac G5, with the old older version of Mac OS X. So we're gonna select the default. GUID partition is what we want. And let me click on the erase here. And we're gonna do preparation. So what we do, we want to make sure we pick up. We have the GUID partition. The scheme is what we want. Okay, so it's gonna do the partition at the same time. But anyway, we're gonna click on done. So we're gonna do one more time here. We're gonna do the next step is actually we select to make sure uh, we uh, partition it. Uh, technically, it's all done, but uh, we're gonna do extra step here. Uh, why we do that? Because we wanna make sure we partition correctly. And as you can see, the scheme is all these. Uh, we've done that already. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna label that partition here. So we're gonna we're gonna take the whole disk here. As you can see, the graphic here. Uh, we are not splitting up, so we use the whole one. So I'm gonna uh, type a label for that one. El Capitan here. And then uh, format is correct already. We all have done that before. And so we're gonna click out with in order. To click on apply here, okay, click on apply here, and 
should be click and click on done. That's it for uh, this preparation. Uh, preparation is is done. So that's how we. That's the first step we do. And click out of it. So the next step we're gonna do is actually we're gonna. Uh, I have to ensure that I have two drives. But I'm gonna let me move a little bit here. Next step we do, we're going to click on, uh, I'm going to go to, uh, uh, to the web, and click on, I'm going to go to Google, then I'm going to download a utility, uh, a cloning utility name, uh, super duper here. It's very, very, uh, it's an excellent, very good uh, free tool here for Mac, I've been using for many years. I'm going to click on the link here, get okay, super duper. And up on the front, it shows you how to do it. It's very straightforward how to clone it in a way. And so we're going to click on download here. So it's small in a way. So click that. It's a little bit sticky here. Click on to download. Uh, let's see. Okay, click on it. So once downloaded, it should be quick because I have a I have very fast line. Should be uh, quick after it's done the download. Okay, click on finally. Yes, so that's it. Three, it's only three max. Technically, we can just double click to run from here. So, but I'm not going to do that in a way. I'm going to go, so I'm going to get out of it. Uh, I'm going to close the browser here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to close the browser. Click out of it. And then I'm going to show you where the download is going to. Click on go here. And you click on download. Here is super duper is it's about three Mac, it's very small. And again, this is an excellent tool here. And very easy to use, just double click on it. So it's a little bit sticky, it's really hard to uh, control the mouse because I'm doing a uh, screen recording on the remote uh, on the screen sharing. Okay, let me see. All I need to do is just to click on the, the, the image here. Click on agree and then you know, open that. And, uh, I'm going to drag it to the application folder. This is how you install it. So click and drag to the application folder here. Okay. Yeah, should be quick. So yeah, click on applications. I'm going to. X out of it. I like to keep the desktop clean. And then next thing you'll do is actually I'm going to eject that image. We already installed. You don't need that anymore. Okay. So I'm going to go to the application again. I'm going to scroll down to SuperDuper here. Okay. So I'm going to put it to the dock here. So click on it and hold, drag to the dock here, so we can so we can run it easily. I'm going to X out the application folder here. Okay. So next we're gonna run that. Okay, open. It's okay. The alert is fine. It's safe anyway. Maybe that application. And you can here. We open that, and you can see we have a source and target. The copy is actually the source. You want to make sure you select 10, 11. I have two internal disks again. I have 10, 10, 10, and 10, 11 here. So we're gonna take. So we select the 10, 10, uh, 10, 11. This is the EL captain here. In your case, you might have only one, one, I have dual boot here, so we might have only one. So, what we want, this is what we want, and you want to make sure, we, you must be very careful, you're not doing the reverse anyway, but in this case, the source, the internal, uh, the target is actually, is the second computer that we just named, uh, label as target here. So, the two is the target, and the copy is the source. At that, and then uh, you want to make verify, make sure you have to. Now, those are very easy to use, but you have to be careful uh, what you're doing. So, click on copy now. Copy, I'll click on options again. Uh, general by default, you don't have to do anything, you just want to show you what's in here anyway. So, you're gonna it's gonna erase but the process you want that. You're gonna do it always make you uh, just like it, it does not your thing, but it's okay uh, by utility. And the advanced, uh, 
want you want to leave a default. You want to make sure that you don't don't uncheck copy ACL. You want to keep original. Okay, you want everything the same. So general again, click OK to get out of there. Then click on copy here, and that's the, so we're gonna into the the credential here. Make sure you have uh, admin access here, of course. Uh, oh, well, you can't do that. Click on OK here. That's gonna give you a final warning. So if that's safe now. Okay, we double check, we triple check the word, and click on copy. Now it's gonna do its thing. So I'm gonna pause the video. It's gonna take a while to finish it. Uh, once to come back, I'm gonna go on with uh, next step here okay. okay it's done now uh, you can click register you want to uh, otherwise you can just click later okay you can register or you can once you click later it's gonna get out of there anyway. you click on this case later and you click on okay to get out of this uh, copy of the okay. cloning thing now again, so now we are done. Okay, so we are finished. And that, that when we open this, and you can see that it's exactly what we have, just like in the source. Okay, so I'm gonna shut down this source here. So what we do, we're gonna shut down both computers. Okay, we're gonna shut down the source and the target. So the next step, we're gonna turn on, make sure that that target uh, uh, this or computer computer that we just Clone to make sure it's working. Okay. And we'll shut down here. Okay. Of course, we click on shut down. And with, with both computers shut down, now we turn on the target computer. Okay, the source is done. We don't need more. We unplug all the uh, firewire cable on both sides. And we turn on the, the, the target computer. In this case, uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time. This is an older one. This is a 2009. The other one is 2010. So any computer, most iMac have the 5 by 800. So okay, now it's turning on. So I'm gonna enter the credential here. So it's a good sign when you turn on. You can see that the lock in the screen already. That means that uh, it should be working here. Okay. So I'm gonna try to lock in. That make sure we can lock in, make sure it doesn't crash. Okay, that's it. Now it looks exactly the same, right? And you can see, except this one here, EL Captain here. And you see that the color is changed because now it become internal because this is uh, its own computer here, its own this become internal. And uh, the color last time because it's on the source computer. So, next thing you need to do. You want to change the computer name. You, if you power on on the same network and you're gonna have the, the same computer name, it's not good. Okay, so you want to make sure after you clone it, you uh, click on share system properties and click on share. You want to change the computer name in the host name here. Okay. And okay. again, you click on system preferences and I'm gonna put it number two here dash two here. Print sharing. I turn on for recording. So in, in your Probably on your computer, you don't need that anyway. Just want to make sure that it's not by default enabled. Click on edit here. What we see here is actually still in the old name. Uh, Sometimes it gets updated automatically. In this case, not. I'm going to click OK for now. I'm going to come back anyway. Okay, we see computer name is dash 2, and you click on again. And then try to enter here. So uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, control the mouse here. I'm going to dash two dot local. This is the host name. Okay, and click on OK. Uh, let's see, yeah, you can see dash two in both computer name. I'm going to X out there. Okay, so um, that's it. Yeah, and it's working. And all I need to do is just shut down now. And this computer, so the cloning process is all done. And shut it down.